Hi y'all. Well, today we are having a very light dinner. We're, we're going to have a chef salad. Um, don't want to gain too much weight. Uh, but for dessert, I want to make some monkey bed, bread and I want to show you how to do it. Okay y'all, the first thing I use is a store-bought biscuit. I use butter spray to spray the pan with. We use one stick of butter, one cup of brown sugar, and you can use cinnamon, apple pie spice, pumpkin pie spice, um, any of those three. And that's one tablespoon. And then we've got a cup of white sugar. Um, I chose to use the pumpkin pie spice this time. Now, the first thing we're going to do is melt our butter. And I'll be right back as soon as that's done. Okay, y'all. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to take our cup of sugar, put it in a bag, and dump in that good spice. And we're going to mix it well. Okay, our butter should be just about ready. So, let me grab that. Okay, y'all. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to cut these biscuits into pieces. Since they're the grand biscuits, I like to cut each one into six pieces. Okay, y'all. The next thing we're going to do, we've got them all chopped up. And we're going to put them in this sugar mixture. And then you just shake them up. Make sure they're all well coated. I forgot to spray the pan. And I like using the butter flavor spray. It just adds another layer of flavor. Okay, then what you do, when they're all coated well, you just place them in the pan. When I get that done, I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I decided to use one more can of the biscuits um, because I'm using my extra large loaf pan so it'll hold it okay y'all we have got them all chopped up coated and put in a loaf pan like that you could also use a um a bunt pan to do this okay we're going to take our one stick of butter and our one cup of brown sugar we're going to mix that together good Let that sugar dissolve and I'm gonna put this in the microwave for one minute I'll be back. all right y'all this is what it should look like when you get it all mixed up now what you're gonna do you're gonna pour this mixture all over that Try to get it even. And in the meantime, you should have started your oven on 350 degrees. And that's what that should look like. 
All right, let's get this in the oven and it's going to be in the oven to start with for 25 minutes. Check it then. If the top is good and brown, it's done. You may have to let it go another five minutes depending on your oven. So we'll be back. All right, y'all, it is time. Let me get it out of the oven. Oh my goodness. Look mm. at that, y'all. Let me just follow you over through it so I can see. <laughs> that is done to perfection. Now, one thing I want to tell you that I should have told you before. Uh, when you put this in the oven, make sure you have a cookie sheet underneath of it because it will dribble over. And you don't want that mess in your oven. Now, this did take a little longer to cook because it's not in a bunt pan. We wanted to make sure the inside got cooked. So, we probably cooked it for a good 45 minutes. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to let this cool and then we're going to dump it off onto this platter. Let it set up and... We're going to serve Mr. James a serving of this with maybe a little bit of vanilla ice cream and let him have a taste test. We'll be back. Hey, y'all. While that is cooling, I want to show you something. Um, I've been looking for vanilla beans for quite a while now, and I found some, some grade A vanilla beans. So I decided I'm going to make me some more homemade vanilla. Um, what we've got here is 10 vanilla beans. And this is a half gallon jug. And what we did was we added the vanilla beans. And then we filled it all the way up to the top with 100 proof vodka. Uh, now this will sit for six months to a year before it's ready. So, just a little tip, if you wanna make your own homemade vanilla extract, uh, that's how you do it. Okay, y'all, I just flipped this over on the platter. And that's, just shake it a little bit. And that will come right out of the pan like that. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, let's get Mr. James out here. Okay, y'all, let me show you what this looks like inside. It's not doughy. It's very nice. There's what Mr. James is going to try, and that is uh, real vanilla bean ice cream. So, let's give it a try, Mr. James. Okay, y'all. The moment... I've been waiting for. My goodness, I love to make this man happy with my cooking. I think the coach is my <laughs> Mm. We can taste that pumpkin in there. Mm. The and pumpkin spice. spice, yeah. Like I said, never go on the first bite. You always got to have that second bite. Probably don't have to, but I always choose it. <laughs> mm. Yes, I chew ice cream. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> all right, y'all. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Um, you should really try this recipe. It is so easy, and you can even get your kids involved in making it. Um, and trust me, they're going to love it. Um, if you're not subscribed to Pennington's Garden Life, come on over and subscribe. We're good people.